Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Because of the positions they hold, they should make it their mission to bring political parties together, all the political actors, for dialogue. That is what Dr. Nevers Mumba should do. That is what Brigadier General Mianda should do. That is what Mr. Ino Kavindele should do. That is what the Honorable uh, Inonge Wina should do and hoping uh, uh, he has enough strength. That is what Dr. Guy Scott should do. That is what is needed. That is what these senior politicians should do for Zambia. And I hope they'll do so. That is what will diffuse the tensions which are in the country. Thank you. Thank you very much. Where is he? Uh, Chair, with your permission, I feel that uh, the message from a mother addressed to the immorality we are seeing amongst our youths will be incomplete unless we allow a youth to share a few words with his fellow youth so that they realize that they are being used for wrong reasons. Employment is supposed to be created for them. Economic opportunities are not being used to carry pangas in this day and era. So, Mr. Spallow? I think that uh, uh, what I was stating earlier, that this party is for all, and even the generations, that speaks to that. Thank Mr. you very much. I thought you were Spallow alluding me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I'm going to sit or I should stand. I think it's a good thing. I think it's a Thank you very much, uh, the former president, uh, all the presidents here, the SG the journalists around and all those who've come to witness the uka press briefing uh me what i would like to say basically is about the youths you know as young people before me dara zikari be kutituma nyamula mapanga ufunika waganiza kutipamena atituma wana wake walikuti waburu wake walikuti wanshito wake walikuti we can't just be used as tools of violence all the time. This formula never worked and it can't work. Zambians hate violence. I was very much disappointed to see some energetic youths who are supposed to be doing, you know, money making uh, projects coming to deck to come and insult the former president who is supposed to be respected. Where is our respect as the youths? What are we doing for this country? If our forefathers were behaving exactly like the youth of today are doing, believe you me, we are still going to be under colonial. Because us as the youth, the only thing that some big politicians are doing now is just to use it as tools of violence. We shouldn't be the case. The same politicians are not I don't want to associate myself with the criminals. And yet there are the same people that are sending us there. That's why me as youth, national youth chairman for UCA, in a violence is a no to me. If you want to come to UCA, you used to do violence in the past, UCA has no room for violence. Even these who are coming with pangas thinking they are going to fight with us, 
we are going to watch them wazamba kungonola mapanga mpaka kasire because we don't want violence violence should never be entertained in this democracy and in this time and era so all those who are sending those youths to come and uh, disrupt rallies for the opposition whilst themselves are having rallies freely bazinkala na nzero then we police also let's be learning tizinkala kona nzero we saw how our friends lost jobs after uh, boma ya chinja lero futi wako zingisani mwenda kusogolo boma ya chinja futi wakambo kuchosani don't be partisan just do your job as police officers if police officers can find troops to go and disrupt a rally they can easily also equally find troops to go and protect those who are having a rally but muno mzambia mudabwisa if you apply for a rally as opposition they will tell you no eh, we don't have manpower you go there manpower is up ezeka kupishana why can they use the same manpower yo pishira abantu to protect us na matiagas pamwamba it doesn't make sense this is a democracy it's not one party state right now the economy is in icu bantu wavutika makombo ni muri njala people can't afford to buy basic needs where is the ruling party where is the government to address all those issues the only thing now they are occupied with is arresting the opposition disrupting rallies na kuchita vina angu vole sale sacha bantu people want to listen right now what the government need to do is to call for an economic indaba itanani koni bantu banzeru i economy yanu ya meni mwezo kabati muna stada yakanga call the people the real economists who studied economy sit down on the table even us as opposition as we are here we all want a better zambia because a better zambia is for everyone kulibaza mbo gula unga tu inwa chipana gula unga so ya gula so tonse mavuto tiamvera what's youth right now babwere na pamakolo wenze wanaweza nkala ku mtume wa one room tabwere opesa kolo abwere ya pamakolo tizasha chabwanje things are not okay in the country and another thing which i would like to say is abash selective justice there is no way people from two different camps commit the same offense others are arrested whilst others are not arrested let the law be applied equally and fairly if somebody from uka or from pf or from any opposition political party commits a crime treat him as you'd want to treat your same people who support the government of the day but right now what i'm seeing is you find that those from opposition law ndi ameniko ngamaningi bali kusaidi kwao I can give you an example. Our brother Chanoda Ngwira went to the police to go and report some non UPND cadres who are issuing threats and everything. This is the Zambia that we want. We want a Zambia where laws will be applied equally and fairly. If you go to the police, you go to the police. Unga change lelero kapokola docket ya masunga time izaka fika uzaka longewa so my youth open up wise up as as uka the issue of violence we don't want ngati mzambo bwera kuti mbo mte disrupt rally na ndewe zanu mzambo zimenya mweka zambians don't love violence right now our biggest enemy is not uka but the economy so concentrate on the economy ziko mwambi <laughs> this is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.